tears and sorrows I've had questions for tomorrow There's been times I didn't know right from wrong But in every situation God gave blessed consolation That my trials come to only make me strong I've been to lots of places And I've seen a lot of faces There have been times I felt so all alone But in my lonely hours, yes, those precious lonely hours Jesus lets me know that I was His own Sabbath again. It's the best time of the week for me. I was blessed and I hope you were too. But I also hope that you had an opportunity to be a blessing. I'd like to share a few thoughts with you of how the Lord has been speaking to me. But let us pray first. Thank you Lord for your word. Thank you that it is light to our feet and a lamp to our path. And I pray that you will enlighten our minds now. Speak to us. We are here to hear you. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Please open your Bibles to Acts chapter 7 verse 32. It says, Say, I am the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses trembled and dared not look. If you remember, Moses spent quite a bit of time with God. And when he would come back, his face was shining. It was radiating from the light and the presence that he'd gotten from the presence of God. So what does this have to do with what I want to say to you? Well, the title of the talk is the God of Priscilla. And why did I choose that? Because God often used to say the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. But what if he could say the God of Priscilla, the God of Brian, the God of Jared, the God of Jessica? What if he could use your name, the God of... Put your name there. Why? How? Well, I often find that 
sometimes we struggle to just follow God. And we struggle to follow God in the guidelines, the requirements, the, the parts that He's put before us, the commandments. We struggle to be obedient. Because for us, obedience is this big thing. It's subjection. It's, I don't know, it's terrible. Some of us have a really negative connotation to that. But what if we could see it in the sense of a promise, of a blessing, of safety and happiness? What if those are just God's way of helping us through life, creating a path through the sea, of showing us the way that we should walk in? But why would we trust God if we don't know God? Our children listen to us and they follow what we say, sometimes with resistance like us, because they don't like it. But they eventually do it because they trust us. So then the same principle can apply with our relationship with God. If we know God, we will trust Him. And if we trust Him, we won't have a trouble doing what he asks us to do because we'll know that it comes from his heart if we know God's heart we will feel confident comfortable to just do what he asks us to do so then does that beg the question that we don't know him or maybe we don't maybe we really don't and I'm asking you a tough question really sit down and ask yourself do you know God and in the busyness of the life that we have at the moment it's so easy for God to take a back seat. It's so easy for God to be left out or left behind. And then how can we possibly want to trust God or know Him if we're not spending time with Him? A relationship requires time. Investment. So I want to challenge you today. And I want to pray for you and for me that this week, God will be first. God will be priority. And we'll spend time with God knowing who He is so that when He speaks to us, we know his voice, we trust him, and we feel confident to do what he asks us. We won't feel rebellious to do our own thing, but we'll know that what he's asking us to do is because he loves us. We don't have to understand. We don't have to see the end. We don't have to see the result. We just need to trust that he's with us and know that he won't ask us for anything that wouldn't be for our benefit. It's easy to walk when we can see. And sometimes we go through things and we don't understand why, and that's okay. We don't have to understand why. But if I know God, then I can say He's the God of Priscilla because I trust His heart. I trust Him because I know Him. So my prayer for you and for me this week is that no matter what is happening, we are going to decide that God is first. We're going to make sure that we set time apart to spend time with Him so that He has the opportunity to fill us with him and we know him and we love him and we trust him and it will be easier for us to say you know what Lord if this is the way I'm gonna walk in it I don't understand maybe but it's okay I trust you because I know you so this week may you know the Lord and may you be blessed by knowing him and by following what he asks let us pray dear Jesus you are amazing you love us, and when you set out guidelines for us, it's because you know that it will be for our benefit. It's for us. It's not for you. And it's because you love us. So this week, my prayer for myself and everybody listening is that we will choose you. We will choose and set time apart to spend with you, knowing you more, so that we can trust you when you ask us to do things or to go through things or to just be obedient. So bless us with that, Lord. Help us to just be faithful. Put that desire deep, urgently in our hearts. That it will be the most important thing. That nothing else will be important to us except that time we spend with you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.
Sweet.